going to be right-hander Jose Barrios. Big trade deadline acquisition for them. These are his numbers with the Blue Jays. Four and two, ERA 3.63, 44 and two-thirds innings. He's going to feature a fastball. He uses both the four-seamer and the two-seamer almost the same amount of time. Curveball with good sweeping action and a changeup. As he hits one, it's a three-man infield against Lau. Four-man outfield, but the ball finds Marcus Simeon. Meadows accounting for the only run of the night for the Rays last night. The home run of the ninth inning. And boy, did he just jam Meadows. Here comes Simeon in the short flip to get him. Two down. And Nelson Cruz, the 40-year-old slugger, now as the Tampa Bay Ray strolls in. Pitch. There's a swing and a slug out to straightaway center field. Dickerson drifting back. Shy the track now off to his left. Handles the fly ball. And Jose Barrios has a very fast seven pitch. One, two, three. Top of the first. It is a very deep and hot lineup for Drew Rasmussen. Yeah, that's who they get the righty. He made the Brewers opening day roster for the first time. And then promptly was traded in the Willie Adamas trade to the Blue, uh, to the Tampa Bay Rays. Went down to the minor leagues. George Springer leads it off. Right-hander fires. And the first pitch lined up the middle. And a diving grab made by Wendell, the shortstop. An incredible diving grab, robbing a base hit from George Springer straight up the middle. Wendell, the multi-talented defender for the Tampa Bay Rays, plays all over the diamond. That ball was not hit that hard, but still it took a heck of a play by Joey Wendell to get there. Ground ball, that's going to go up the middle and into center field. Simeon is aboard. One out base runner for Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Ground ball. This oh. is Wendell nicely done. Lau and over to first. The Rays get the double play. Jose Barrios against the Tampa Bay Rays. And the second game of three between the Blue Jays and the Rays. And there's a shot. Well hit deep to right. And that baby is gone. Home run off the bat of G-Man Joy. And the Rays break out in front. G-Man Joy's 10th home run of the year. A no doubter with the sound and into the second deck. I mean, that's over the wall, over the entire first deck, and about halfway up into the second deck. They were trying to attack him up in the zone, and he ends up pulling that one to the middle. A 2-0 count will cause you to do that. And he's loving that bat. <laughs> Love him what he did with that bat. Pitch to Margo. Swinging a ground ball towards the middle. A diving stop made by Bichette. Back up to his feet. The throw to first. In time to get the out. What a play by Bo Bichette. He gets the out, and he keeps the run from the Rays. Ball one strike. That's a shot, hit it hard toward the corner. That's off the bottom of the wall. Hernandez will play the carom and hold Meadows to a single. He lined that one off the bottom of the right field wall and it came right back to Hernandez. Reese McGuire swings and he lines a pitch. Straight away center field, diving for it. Margot makes the catch. A little bit of a hesitation, a little bit of a stutter step, and then a dive by Margot into the turf, robbing a base hit, and if it passed him, much more. I don't think there'd be enough to overturn it. I don't think you touch it this early. No challenge, they say. That's a liner, and Fair headed for the corner. Hernandez will have to go in after this one, and it's a two-base hit standing up for G-Man Joy. Rasmussen setting up the belt and pitching. Line drive to center. There is Margot moving to his left, and Rasmussen pitches his way out of the jam here in the fourth. He clenches his fists and shouts into the heavens. Excited for what he just did. Spotted the Blue Jays, two all, not out. So two outs, runner at first. There's a first pitch swinging. Randy Arozarena lines at the third, caught by Valera. And that'll do it for the Rays. There have been some hard hit baseballs on both sides. Vladdy 0 for 2, including a screamer to center his last time up. Runner goes from first, and Vladdy hits it high in the air near the line in left. Out goes Wendell, angling back from short. He's there, he makes the catch. Retiring Guerrero and the Blue Jays. Boy, that was a big, big, big cut by Guerrero. Into the seventh. One to nothing, Tampa Bay. Jose Barrios has allowed a run on four hits. Still looks fresh to me. The 1 1. Off the fist, a humpback liner towards second. Simeon reaches out, and he flags it! Wow, what a play by Marcus Simeon! A humpback liner in the hole on the right side of the diamond. Simeon bolts to his left, reaches out, and it sticks in the end of the web. Here's Manuel Margot over 2. The 2-0 pitch. 
There's a swing and a line drive to center. Dickerson racing to his left. Underneath it makes the catch in right center field. And just like that, a one, two, three, seventh inning of work on a thrifty night for Jose Barrios. Dickerson is grounded to short and fly to center. Swing and a line drive, fading near the line. A Rosa Rain on the run dives, and he makes the catch. The Tampa Bay Rays are flashing the leather tonight. They have absolutely robbed the Blue Jays of extra base hits all through this game. one nothing Rays in the eighth. Brandon Lau the batter. 0 for 3 tonight. Fly ball deep in the air to right field. Way up there. Hernandez to the bullpens. Gone! A homer by Brandon Lau, and it's 2 nothing Rays in the eighth. So Lau connects off the left-hander Mesa. Brandon's eighth home run of the year against a lefty. Oh, just a hanger right there by Mesa. And Brandon Lau, boy, he knew it. That ball was absolutely crushed. Reese McGuire, the batter. Here comes Robertson's pitch. And he struck him out swinging with a curveball. And what a bounce back outing for David Robertson. After struggling on Sunday in Detroit, he comes back and gets the Blue Jays. One, two, three in the eighth. The pitch. Off the fist, humpback liner. Bichette racing back into the outfield. Leaps into the air and makes the catch. Oh, Bichette ranging far out into the outfield to haul in that liner stretching with everything he has for the second out and we go to the bottom of the ninth with the Rays leading two to nothing and the call goes out to the bullpen for Andrew Kittredge and the Blue Jays are down to their final out here we go three two and a ground ball to third Wendell's throw to first Rays win it and they shut out the Toronto Blue Jays and what a job by this pitching staff. The Rays will throw their 11th shutout of the year only the third time Toronto has been shut out this year and the Rays do it on three hits for the Rays two six and oh five left for Toronto no runs three hits no errors three left.